to lead the league in pass yardage if he could finish the season that way he'd be the first to do so since Sonny Jurgensen led the NFL back in 1969. Oh, bringing up the old quarterbacks and just talking. That's the history right there. He's going to have to play outstanding for them to win today, Jim. Well, he's going to hand it off right away to Arenas Robinson with a good start. With about eight yards, so they brought it. Robinson's got a lot to show you, and so too on the outside, Tony, is McLaurin, the wide receivers, led him in receiving the last five years. Well, yes, if he gets a 1,000 yards this year, he'll be the first in franchise history to win four straight seasons. He's the guy who has to win the one-on-one -on -one matchups. This Dallas team plays man-to-man, -man, Jim, and they're going to get up there, be around to the whole time. If they don't win those matchups, then you're going to get blown out. This is second and two, and this time they stop. A running back as Parsons comes up. So is Wilson. A lot of 30 short on the way. No gain. As Parsons comes off the two and a half sack performance at Carolina. You're looking at just a revolutionary player right here, Jim. He's as good as advertised, and every year he somehow improves. We all know he's like an MVP candidate, defensive player of the year candidate, every year he plays, but they move him around, he plays inside, outside, he plays off the ball, like you see him right here, he's a pass rusher, right? So he's a middle linebacker, and all of a sudden you see him get up on the edge outside, so he's... Here's a third and two, and they go into the back, and they have the first down, and Robinson racing down the sideline, and finally shoved out by Gilmore at the Dallas... 7 yard line that goes for 19. We'll go ahead and run this right here. He's gonna do a great job with the man beater we call it. Dallas runs more man than anyone. If you're gonna play man to man, you gotta get these picks, certain little things where people get in the way of the defender. Great job there by Eric Bianchi making an easy throw catch. And then against this defense, you wanna go off to a good start. Robinson out and Antonio Gibson is questionable coming in. He replaces him. He's up to now. He's been out of the backfield in the receiving game, too. He's out. He's in pressure. Washington 43 yard line. I see Parsons in the middle of that and others. That is it. Yeah. also. There he is. Yeah, that'll be the 50 second sack for Sam Howell. As you see, your left side just get collapsed with the movement, and that's what Dallas does. They move, stunt. We got Parsons over here, so all the attention goes there. Three guys, got three gonna, guys there. It's going to help the other side get there. Yeah, that that helps everybody else, doesn't it? Washington's on pace for the most sacks in NFL history. We know David Carr at 76, they're on pace for 79. Maybe with that one, it's up to 80. Yeah, but the Giants are going to set that record first. <laughs> so here's a second and 18 yeah. as Howell tries to fire it in there to McLaurin. And it'll be third and 18, and Howell gets decked again. You talked about Sam Howell, and you watch him here. And he really shows you some poise, doesn't he, at times? I mean, here he is staying in the pocket. Yeah, I mean, he's going to have to, I don't want to say, he's going to have to take a lot of hits today for them to win. He's got to get the ball out quick, be accurate. He's got to use his legs right there. If you get behind the chains here, you got to be smart. I mean, the truth is, you don't have to get the first down. You just got to keep the manageable fourth and, you know, go for it type situation. You probably won't have time to wait out for a 20 minute play. Here's the third and 18, and they'll set up the screen. Gibson. The four blockers ahead of him. Gibson. What is this? Squeeze out every inch he can. He gets to about the 43 of Dallas, and they're going to punt it. Yeah, that's right in that area where it's like if you get another three yards, you can kick a field goal, right? It's a good call. They just, these two or three yards make a difference because they can probably kick it from about 58 to 60 in here. Yeah, I mean, Sly has a 61 yarder this year against Philadelphia. But they're going to go with Way, the punter, instead. And there's Turpin. Nice to see number nine back in a Dallas uniform again. Ah, all the speed, all the speedsters over the years. And over in, fair catch, and complete at the 14. All right, the high-powered Cowboy offense. And they have been just a juggernaut in the first quarter. We'll see him in a moment. These two quarterbacks that were drafted in the middle of the draft squaring off on Thanksgiving.